everyone i hope you are all doing well so let's see what's coming through for you what do you need to know right now so let's see what have we got oh okay so straight away i have keys on the ring and the sword and rose okay oh healing heart just flipped in here in the deck okay two more cards Abundance and one more card. Oh, okay. Karmic relationship. Okay, so what I can see so far from this card is that uh, for some of you, you are in a separation and you are dealing with somebody who maybe the word cheating on you maybe felt like they are too sociable with uh, let's say if the person of interest uh, was a man that i feel like they were talking maybe with too many ladies uh, just as i mentioned there was some cheating going on as well and you finally uh, got the clarity needed and you saw the things for what they really are with this person so uh, the separation happened now um with the karmic relationship i feel like it might sound a bit mean obviously i'm not trying to upset or, or offend anyone but sometimes when we meet in somebody um and we are in a karmic relationship uh, this is happening because there are certain lessons that we need to learn in order for us to grow and to be on the right path uh, or the path that we need to be in life so uh, despite everything you know you are going to receive a lot of abundance you might be manifesting things that or you might be doing even things that uh, you will not even dream of doing after the separation, okay? But clearly, you know, you are healing at the moment. It's very clear that you are healing. Keep doing that and make sure you heal 100% because if you don't, then your future relationship will be affected, okay? But there is a lot of abundance coming your way and you are manifesting. And try to see the positive side of things. So, you know... Um, what I usually like to say, rejection is protection. So in all the bad things or when things are not working out you know, for our highest good, it's always because there is a sort of hidden meaning, you know. So or uh, it, this person was just not meant for you. Remember, it's just a karmic relationship. So you were there to learn certain lessons from that person. And then once these lesson, lessons were learned, excuse me, you know, uh, you will have to move on. Okay, so I know it sounds a bit mean. Okay, but this is what is happening. So uh, uh, I realized lately that when there is a negative message in the reading, you know, um, people tend to unsubscribe or, uh, you know, they are not very happy about it. But, you know, it is what it is. I'm trying to be honest with you guys and I'm just telling you what the cards are showing me. Okay, so ooh, I'm going to use the tarot cards now to clarify those cards. And quite a few of these tarot cards came out. Okay, so I have... The seven of pentacles i have the moon in reverse i have the nine of swords okay i have the three of cups in reverse okay let me just make space in here i have the king of pentacles in reverse i have the lovers in reverse i'm just gonna make some space in here and I have the six of pentacles in reverse as well okay so what i can see so far is just as i mentioned before you know like you are healing at the moment but just know the abundance is coming your way and also you know things are coming to fruition so you just concentrating on yourself on your healing just doing the things that are making you happy and just uh things that are good for you and just giving you that extra love extra attention you know is uh, making this abundance or these manifestations come even faster your way so good things will come your way okay this is with the seven of pentacles so definitely you're going to see some of you might even get some sort of money you know but definitely good things are coming your way good news as well and um, you know all these you know uh hard work if i can say that on yourself you concentrating and working so much on yourself it will pay off okay it will definitely pay off now with the moon in reverse again i feel like somebody is um you know finally seeing things for what they really are so you might be thinking oh my gosh what was i thinking why did i trust this person for such a long time why was i blind you know like why i couldn't see things for what they really are but you have to uh, understand that sometimes when we are in love or when we love somebody we don't see things as clearly as they really are so you know please don't think that you're a horrible person or you're nothing like that okay it's just love sometimes love makes us blind okay but the main thing is, you know, you have to keep uh, concentrating on yourself and just 
pour that uh, positive energy and love into yourself. Now with the um, nine of swords, I feel like somebody it is very anxious, they're very negative, and actually I feel this is uh, your person's energy, your ex. You know, they they feel like they lost such a big opportunity, you know, they miss out on you and they feel like they love such a good person and, you know, they are very regretful, you know, they're very, really missing you and they're just really unhappy, they're very stressed out, they cannot sleep good at night, you know, they're not in a happy place, believe me. Now, with the Three of Pentacles in reverse, again, I feel like somebody was, you know, like, I feel like you, because you're kind of, um, concentrate on your healing i feel like you're not really going out too much you know for some of you i feel like you're kind of isolating you know, which is in a way understandable you know but uh, in a way i would say please don't i don't be too much on your own okay because it's not good for you you know you don't want to end up being in, in depression you know it's always good to kind of receive some sort of uh, device or help from outside as in your close friends uh, relatives, whatever the case may be, okay, but if you feel like you need help, by all means, you know, just ask for help, okay, there's nothing wrong with that. Now, with the um, King of Pentacles in reverse, again, I feel like uh, you were dealing with somebody that was very ungrounded, you know, uh, maybe there was a businessman as well for some of you, and I just feel like some some of uh for some of you i feel like this person kind of took advantage of their power maybe it was somebody with uh, a lot of money or they were just somebody that uh was pretending to be someone that they were not actually you know because this is what i'm getting here i just feel like there's a lot of it's not a nice energy like um somebody with a mask there were many lies just pretended to be someone that they were not really now with the lovers in reverse again i feel like there was a lot of um conflict you know before the separation and again for some of you just a uh, disconnect you know there was a lot of imbalance before the separation and again trust you know i feel like slowly slowly you started to lose trust in this person which is understandable especially for those of you that there was some cheating going on and uh, with the um, six of pentacles in reverse i would say again like you are letting go of the past and just as i mentioned before you are healing you're concentrating on your healing you're just kind of taking each day as it comes you're concentrating on yourself on the future you know you are kind of becoming more mature you are just kind of grounding yourself you're just concentrating on yourself so that is great okay please doing that i'm just going to put some messages from the person on your mind if they will want to say anything to you, what would it be? I can't wait to see you again. Okay. So this is what this person will want to tell you or is kind of, for some reason, is waiting to see you again. Look, waiting for a sign from you. So I feel like this person is very regretful. Just as I mentioned before, they cannot sleep at night and they are just missing you. Okay. They're very stressed out. And they're very in a negative energy at the moment because, you know, they just lost a treasure and they are missing you, you know. They really want to come around, I feel, uh, to fix things. Now it's totally up to you if you want to take them back or not, but they really want to hear from you and they're waiting for a sign from you and they really want to see you. So, anyways, this is all I'm seeing here. I really hope this reading helped. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.